Hi, Rocky. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Um, I really like it out here. I'm actually spending time here tomorrow, so it was nice to drive out to Malibu. Yeah, I uh, do find that most people don't enjoy the drive here because we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. We are up a long dirt driveway, and um, people from the city are just like, what's a dirt <laughs> driveway? My car will never make it. And I'm like... Yes, it will. Mm -hmm. Every car has always made it up here, but it still freaks people out nonetheless. So I'm glad that uh, it didn't scare you. I mean, I'm usually really scared of like dirt roads, but I'm getting better. And I drove my like big giant van out here, which you saw. And um, that's why I asked. So I think because I asked, I was okay. Had I not asked, I might have been like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always try to warn people and give like very specific directions. Um, and you're not kidding about that van out there. It's huge. It's, huge. it's like, I don't know why I was picturing like a van down by the river, Yeah. <laughs> but it's like a really nice, like it's bigger than my equipment van. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, that is like a really utilitarian van. So like, tell me, tell me about your van. Like what's in there? Why is it so big? Like, do you, um, stay in there when you're traveling? Yeah, it's uh, it's like fully built out. There's a bed and some cabinets and stuff. Um, I'm actually rebuilding it, so it'll still be livable. But right now it's livable like in a minimal way. Like there's not a sink or anything. Um, but yeah, I've been staying in it this whole week. I don't usually stay here or stay in the van when I'm here. But um, because of COVID, I didn't want to be staying in people's houses. I had some houses I could stay in and everyone ended up being exposed. So I was like... I'm really glad I brought my van, so I've just been sleeping in that. Um, it's been interesting to drive it around L.A., to say the least. Yeah, the parking is, <gasps> if you're in the city, it's a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been in neighborhoods, luckily, and, like, the houses we shoot at are, mm -hmm. you know, usually in a pretty spacious area. Yeah. So that was helpful. But. Yeah. Yeah, um, from somebody who's driven their equipment van to shoots for the last 20 years, um, I can attest to the difficulty of parking a van in like the more urban areas. It's yeah. Re like, especially shooting downtown LA. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's not fun. It's not fun. No. But I have my whole house with me and everything I need in there and everything's like closed and weird here. So yeah. I'm dealing with it this time. I don't know if I will do it again. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have that backup though. Yeah. And you also mentioned, like, before we started that you rock climb. So do you take that with you when you rock climb? And Because usually I think when you're climbing, from what I understand, you're usually kind of, like, off the grid, not necessarily near hotels. Do you stay in it at in those times? Yeah, usually I stay in the van. Um, I just started using it in October. We would camp or stay in a trailer um, mm -hmm. that my partner has or – something else, but it's been really useful because yeah, we can have two people and the dog and all of our climbing equipment and food and whatever protection from the environment yeah. in the van. Um, a lot of the time though, it's close enough that like we end up parking in a friend's driveway, but we were still fully contained. And then I just don't like having to ask for like somewhere to stay if I don't need to. Yeah. Um, so it's nice. And then, yeah. And then like the dog has somewhere to chill inside if she doesn't want to be outside while we're climbing and food is right there. We don't have to go get the worst part is in areas like that, that are more desolate food is like three times the cost. Of course. Cause it takes yeah. so long to get out there. Yeah. So like eating at restaurants doesn't have to happen anymore. And that's, yeah probably my favorite part is just having a kitchen with me all the time. You know, it's funny that you mentioned that I had forgotten about this, but I actually, um, back when I put like a ton of effort into my shoots and mm -hmm. I cared more <laughs> uh, before I got burnt out, I went to death Valley to shoot and mm -hmm. I took, uh, Aria Giovanni, who was also like one of my best friends and my husband at the time and makeup artist. We went and we stayed in death Valley and we shot out there and, you know, Death Valley is pretty desolate and there's only a couple of places to eat. And I just remember the food being so expensive and terrible. And not good. So yeah. bad. <laughs> but they have no one to compete again. So it's like mm -hmm. you will eat this spaghetti with like an old like can of tomatoes on it and we mm -hmm. will charge you $20 for mm -hmm. it. And like what you going to do about it? Right. 
Yeah. So that's probably the best part and not having to sleep in like creepy old hotels. Yeah. 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 Which definitely, (laughs) we also did that as well. Yeah. So 